Alright guys, I'm going to be doing a review on my Ferro Concepts FCPC plate carrier. Uh, got us off of ferroconcepts.com. They are a Canadian based retailer in Alberta. They've been making custom gear for quite some time now. They finally released their FCPC after a long period of uh, uh, <coughs> testing with the vest. Uh, they had a couple different iterations, um, but this is the final product and I must say that it looks really good and also feels very nice. The vest itself is sold in its separate components. The first component would be the front plate carrier which includes the shoulder straps. The second is the kangaroo flap. They have many different uh, flaps out there. They're releasing the Kydex one uh, this month so stay tuned for that. Uh, another component is the cummerbund. They also have a bunch of different cummerbunds, uh, elastic ones. Uh, they have a custom elastic one that also holds mag pouches so and magazines as well. So that's also a really nice feature. Uh, the rear plate carrier is also uh, the rear of the, the or the rear plate is also sold separately. And the final piece are the two shoulder pads that are sold in the set. Uh, of course, I picked this up all in digital desert. Now, the vest itself is really nice. Again, it's very comfortable and it's also really similar to the JPC. Uh, the FCPC is uh, low profile and lightweight. Uh, right now, inside the vest, I have a one inch foam plate insert. Uh, without the plate inserts, uh, the, the vest does not hold its own shape, so you definitely need plate inserts before you use it. Uh, the front plate carrier, uh, well, the kangaroo flap, has a nice Velcro, uh, Velcro part inside here. You can uh, peel it off, and inside you can put some mag shingles for M4 mags and MP7 type magazine holsters, uh, or holders, I mean. Uh, on the top, you have the uh, Molly webbing uh, Velcro, so you can put any patches that you want on there. The upper part of the plate carrier also has a small admin pouch for any notebooks or pens or any tools that you may have. Uh, and it's also got these Velcro loops uh, for any wires or hydration tubes. These are also located on the shoulder pads as well. Um, the cummerbund is very similar to Cry Precision's um, Air Light Cummerbund, although it's a little bit different. Uh, they opted to go with a more lightweight design. Uh, still maintains the same durability, but also gives you a little bit more uh, well structure to the Cummerbund. Uh, where the JPC doesn't have the uh, the mesh here, the FCPC has Cummerbunds have the mesh at the back. Um, it doesn't have dual layer uh, molly at the back. They have some other fabric that's sewn in in the back for backing. Excuse me, and uh, pretty nice. Gives you a lot of room for um, any pouches you may have. On the plate carry um, at the front, it's got six columns of molly, and uh, this one has uh, six rows or. Uh, seven rows so four here and three at the top here um, so it's just enough for three triple M4 uh, or three single M4 mag pouches at the top um, with the added kangaroo pouch you can hold six at the front which is also uh, a really good option so the vets itself is very uh, modular and uh, the way it is sold is sold in separate pieces and you know there's also different types of uh, components as mentioned before so the vest is very very user friendly you can buy the uh, vest and, sp and have it specced to uh, your preferences which is something that I really like about the vest so it, does, it doesn't have one set uh, one set uh, excuse me one set uh, um, setup so uh, it offers a lot more uh, options which is something that I really like um, one thing that's really unique about the vest though is that it uses G clips for the uh, it uses G clips uh, for the uh, shoulder straps here, um, as you can see. Um, it's got more room to rotate, so it doesn't uh, doesn't restrict your movement, which is something that I really like. And also the components here. Uh, every single component has um, mesh at the back, so at the 
front brake carrier, as you can see, it's got this mesh down the middle, allows for more airflow, and all of these are located pretty much everywhere. Um, of course, it's also located on the rear carrier as well, um, on the shoulder pads, and uh, it just gives the vest a little bit more, um, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable when you, when you put it on. Uh, the padding is also very well built, so everything is lightweight and uh, low profile, and which is what I really like about this vest. The shoulder pads are also removable. Um, as you can see, there's the Velcro right there. Excuse me, I'm using a DL DSLR to film this right now, so it's kind of uh, difficult. But um, yeah, so there's removable, um, and it's also got the the uh, Velcro loop loops for uh, hydration tubes or wires. Um, the shoulder pads are removable. Um, it is stuck onto the straps with Velcro as well, so it doesn't slide any everywhere. Uh, so everything is uh, really solid in place. So you don't you don't have to worry about uh, of the shoulder pads, you know, flipping on you or like sliding. So one thing that I really like about this FCPC compared to the JPC is that the the rear plate carrier is a bit bigger than the JPC. Um, I'll show you a comparison here. Uh, and also the cummerbund design is also a little bit more well thought out. As you can see the JPC kind of gets messy, it's just tied on there with some paracord. And uh, the uh, FCPC slides in through this hole in the back and it's not velcroed in place. Um, I I would prefer it if it was velcroed in place, but it's not, so that's one thing I don't like about it. But uh, uh, overall, though, it's it's a pretty decent design. Um, it doesn't slide anywhere so far, like I, well, so far that I've been wearing it, so it doesn't move anywhere, and uh, it it's just not as messy at the back. And um, because the uh, JPC at the top here, um, this is kind of getting off topic, but the JPC has a has a cut cut edges here, and uh, because of that, you lose some space for molly webbing, uh, whereas the JPC is a full like full back carrier, so you can put a lot of pouches at the back. Uh, the vest also has this nice pulled tab at the back, so if your teammate is like you know in the real operation is is injured or whatever, you can pull them to safety. And, uh, it's a really cool cool feature. Um, it also has pull tabs in the right places, so you got a pull tab here to so pull up the front kangaroo flap. You also have pull tabs for the summer buns, so you can pull it, so you can take it off easier. Um, and pull tabs at the bottom so you can take out the plates. I am running uh, the foam plates in here. I had to trim them down in order to fit perfectly in the uh, uh, vest, but as you can see, after trimming it down and fitting it in, the whole vest looks very nice. and. Uh, just also just feels you know much more comfortable when you wear it too so I'm gonna put this vest on to show you guys what it looks like okay so here it is uh, with the vest on me as you can see the digital desert matches really well my trigger air r1 um, BDU set uh, there's no difference at all so as you can see it fits perfectly everything's low profile nothing on my side is getting in the way I can move my arms as much as I want and with the G clips as mentioned before it I, because the way it lets you rotate the straps I can move a lot better um, and it just feels much more natural when I'm moving around in this vest uh, I'm about 5'7 and 5'6 so you can basically see how this vest fits on me um, it fits perfect, it's not too big, not too small, low profile, lightweight, and it's a very, very good vest. So if you're looking to buy a vest and you're trying to pick between a JPC or you're looking for some other options out there, the FCPC is a very good vest to buy and I really highly recommend you to uh, pick it up if you're looking for a nice low profile vest. Again, you can pick this up at fairconcepts.com. Uh, be sure to email them if you have any questions. They can also do custom work for you for anything, belts, pouches, vests, um, even bags, I think. And they even make some other accessories like wallets and uh, laptop bags and stuff like that. So if you guys are you know, interested in any of their products, go check out fairconcepts.com. Uh, Right now, they are sold out of the FCPC, unfortunately, but they are making more. 
uh, they will update the website as soon as they uh, order or as soon as they have any some more stock. Um, I waited a long time for this vest. Uh, they kept saying that it was all like you know they kept saying it was um, in the test phase and stuff like that. Waited for like almost half a year and they finally released it. And I must say, they did not disappoint. This is a really good vest. So if you like it, buy it or you can pick something else. That's basically that simple. Anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know uh, if you guys think I should be doing anything different. Uh, I know my reviews are all kind of one-take stuff. I don't really do that much editing, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you guys later.